What's up guys? So my e-bike is not working again. This battery pack is being charged three or four times and it's a replacement battery pack. The reason for replacement was the same as I have the problem right now. So if I measure voltage on the battery pack, you see it's jumping back and forth and the controller is shutting down and I cannot ride my e-bike again. So today I will be testing how is this battery made and uh, I suspect that's a problem of BMS but let's see if it actually is so what we see there is some sort of silicone or glue that battery is attached to the case and this glue will only stick to this paper so I guess it works like a shock absorber from all the four sides and I will have to oh it's only a little bit of glue but inside there there is a foam let's try and uh, take it out So as we can see here, this battery is made out of five cells connected in parallel and then 14 of these parallel connections connected in series. If you never work with battery packs, it might be hard to imagine, but if you look carefully, you will see that two groups of the cells that are connected in parallel are connected to each other on one side of the battery and they are connected to the next group on the other side. We could simplify this view like this. One battery cell in my battery pack is rated at 3.7 volts and 3000 milliampere hours or 3 ampere hours. If we take five of such battery cells and connect them in parallel like this, their voltage doesn't add up. But when you connect batteries in parallel, the capacity is adding up. So you will have kind of a one bigger battery, which will be still 3.7 volts, but 15 ampere hours. So the more battery cells you connect in parallel, the more capacity your battery will have. Now, if you take these cells and connect them in series, calculation is changing. Meaning that now your voltage is adding up with every cell, but your capacity stays the same. So if we take these bigger 3.7 volt and 15 ampere hour batteries, made out of 5 cells connected in parallel and connect 14 of them in series, as in my case, we will get 51.8 volt battery with a capacity of 15 amp hours. And we will call this battery 14S5P, which is the case here. So now let's talk about this animal called BMS, or battery management system. As I said, I have a suspicion that this is the faulty part of my battery pack. BMS connects to your battery main positive and negative terminal and it also connects in between the series of the cells. The key function of BMS is to protect your battery and to make sure that the groups of cells are evenly charged. So when you connect your charger into your battery pack, it will next go to the BMS and then it will make sure that the battery pack is charged and it will not only measure the total voltage of the battery pack but will also measure the voltages of the individual groups. In case the voltage of the entire battery pack or of any individual group of cells exceeds the limits, the BMS will shut down the battery. The motor is also connected not straight to the battery cells but through the BMS. So my idea is to measure the voltage directly on the positive and negative terminal of all the cells and then to check in between the groups of cells to figure out if the battery is evenly charged. So this is the main suspect of a BMS system and uh, as we can see here is the battery negative main negative terminal connect here and this is the negative terminal that comes out of the BMS and goes into the port where we connect our battery to the controller. So if I test the voltage on the main positive, 
which is the contact plate here and in between here and there I will see the battery voltage without BMS being involved. So this is how we will identify if it's a battery cell issue or is it the BMS issue. So the moment of truth we measure on BMS shows 20 volts because it's switched off. Let's turn it on. So on BMS still have the same voltage is dropping by 4 volts and on battery negative terminal I have 56.7 volts and that's stable meaning my battery is fine I just need to find new BMS test number two is to check is to check the voltage in between all of these little pins right here I need to be very careful not to short circuit these pins four oh five four oh four four oh five The last one was a negative terminal. So what does it tell me? It tells me that the battery itself is in a perfect condition. Uh, there is a, all the groups of all the series of cells are ev evenly charged. And the only defected part is all of this BMS. Now I'm not uh, that much into electronics to understand which component of the BMS can be faulty and I'm not going to try and fix it. I'm going to order a new BMS, replace it and then have an again a healthy and working battery pack. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did hit that thumbs up button so you know you enjoyed it. Well if you didn't like this video hit that thumbs down button and let me know in the comments what didn't you like about it so I can improve next time. Thank you all for your feedback, thank you for your time watching and I see you in the next one.